Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a comment and watch the video to the very end. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the pause and unpause button to your Elgato Stream Deck. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because intuitively there's not a way to do it uh, with the subset for uh, the OBS Studio um, setup. You see there, there are five options here, scene, mix, audio, record, stream, and source. These are the, the five commands that come with uh, the Stream Deck. You can add more to it, but natively there's not a way to add in the pause and unpause buttons. So let me show you how to do it. So first thing that you have to do is you actually have to go to your to OBS itself and you're going to have to go to file and settings. And then from here you're going to see hotkeys. Now, what you want to do is you want to set the pause and unpause recording hotkeys and you basically do it by just clicking on it and just pressing any series of buttons. And it's going to add it. So I'm going to just do Control Shift and C. I'm going to go and delete this, and I'm going to just press down Control Shift and C, and it actually will record the hotkey. And the same way with unpause, I'm going to, but I'm going to do Control Shift and V. Okay. Then once you do that, you press OK or Apply either one. You close it out, and then from there, what you're going to do here is you're going to go to. Um, It's uh, you can actually type in a uh, hotkey. Uh, actually, the one you're gonna want to pick is hotkey switch, because a switch is, as you know, it's on and off. The idea is you want to be able to pause and unpause with the same button. So you're gonna go to hotkey switch, and then basically when you click on these two buttons, the first button is the on, the second one is the off. So here I'm going to type in pause and on the second one I'm going to type in unpause and you see that it'll put them separately and hotkey one should be the pause which is control shift and C and the unpause is going to be hotkey two control shift V and that's it and then essentially when you look at, at your stream deck you should now see a pause and unpause button now one thing I recommend doing is uh, you may want to have a secondary monitor set up usually uh, the Elgato I have is an Elgato HD60S Plus uh, there's a little bit of a lag uh, they say that there's zero lag there actually is a slight lag that I kinda don't like and so what I do is I actually watch I actually play on my TV set, but the prop. But with this, I would recommend that you have a second monitor and you visibly confirm that you're unpausing and pausing videos. Probably the most annoying thing is when you have good content and you lose it on uh, editing error and encoding error. Those are probably the most annoying things ever. So <laughs> it's probably more annoying than running out of space on your hard drive because it's where just human error makes it happen. So I would just make sure to visibly unpause and pause. And what's cool about OBS, if you look at the bottom, you see where I'm recording here. It'll actually put the status of it recording. The recording is going to be a, a giant um, a, a red dot, a red circle. And uh, when it's paused, it's going to be two, uh, two lines uh, that are pointing up that are, are like yellow. So there are, are, are two lines that are yellow. That means that it's uh, or two blocks that are yellow. It means that it's, it's paused. So I would just use that. But like I said, uh, pause and unpause are really important features in OBS, uh, especially recently. They make it to where you don't have to do so much video editing. Uh, you don't even really need editing software if you're just uh, simply taking out uh, content that is like uh, dry or dead content, loading screens, things like that. If you're able to take those things out, you can actually use the, the pause and unpause button to uh, set it up and you see here that I actually do have a record button the record button is also a switch as well it when you press the record button it records it uh, a dot appears 
and then when you unrecord it or, or you turn off the recording it, it turns it off so hopefully this video was helpful uh i'm gonna have a a uh, a written explanation of this as well in the description box let me know what you think in the comment section uh like i said i had to look this up i actually found it on reddit and i figured i'd make a video about this uh let me know what you think in the comment section have a blessed day thank you